One second, bear with us. The Mecca is getting a facelift, or better yet, a field lift, with the help of sneaker giant Nike, Traz Powell Stadium, which is the home of seven local high school football teams, is getting a new turf and track made from 282,000 pounds of Nike recycled athletic footwear. And what Nike did, it meant a lot, you know, just as far as us, you know, you know, football is really big down here, you know. Joining forces with the Miami Dolphins and the school board of Miami-Dade County, Nike's commitment to a cleaner environment made this project a no-brainer. This is going to be around long after the 49ers and the, the Chiefs take off. After Jay Lo and Shakira stop singing, Trash Powell, the new Trash Powell, will be here. A $2 million investment that, quite frankly, carries so much historic significance in our community. And before roaming the NFL's gridiron, SoFo pros like Duke Johnson, Dalvin Cook, and current Miami Dolphins wideout Alan Hearns who all once called Traz home for Hearns, he's thrilled to see his old stomping grounds latest upgrade. Uh, it's dope, man. You know, um, from the moment I pulled up, you know, it was, it was eye-catching. And it meant a lot to me, you know, just playing here, you know, a lot, you know, for high school. We can't play at our home field st stadium, you know. So uh, coming here, seeing this, seeing how different it is, man, it means a lot. And just think, the 60-plus players that once played here at Traz Powell Stadium and played in the NFL at some point in their career, their old sneakers may have helped build this field. Reporting at Trash Powell Stadium, Donovan Campbell, 7 News. Good day, good day, good day, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. You're here today with your girl, Erica Wilson, on It Had to Happen. Today, we have the beautiful, young, vibrant CEO of your journey. I mean, my journey, his will. Shelly Ortiz. Hi, Shelly. How are I'm you? I'm good. How are you? I am awesome. Don't be timid. I'm okay. good. How are you? <laughs> you are so beautiful. And, I, you know, thank you for sitting in, thank um, you. here with me today. Unfortunately, we can't, you can't be on set with me due to COVID. And we want to make sure that we're practicing uh, social distancing. So, Today we're um, remotely and I just cannot wait to actually get to sit and talk with you outside of what we're going to learn about you today. So Shelly, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, my name is Shelly Ortiz. I am 16 years old and I'm the CEO of My Journey His Will, which is a motivational t-shirt. Um, business and my founder is God because he's the one that gave me this vision so I just stepped out on faith and I now I've been prospering in what I have to do so I just thank God for this opportunity oh my god we are truly truly blessed I mean I'm truly truly blessed to actually sit down and kind of hear your journey because as you know I had wrote a book called it had to happen and mine is my journey my pain my secret and my purpose, you know, and just to hear my journey and your will, I mean, my, I mean, his will, my God, that is really, really, it speaks volume. 16 years old. When I was 16 years old, I don't think I was, <laughs> was thinking about, you know, <laughs> um, knowing who God was. I knew who, I knew he was real, but you know, right. just at 16 years old, I was a young mother, you know, and I was just really like living the life. But by the grace of God, he found mm. you at an early age yes. and you're sitting here today as the CEO of my journey and his will. Oh my God. Can you just give us a little bit of your journey and just, you know, walk us through that? Um, <laughs> I've always had like a love for God. Like I've, but I've always been very like, churches when I would go to a specific church or whatever you know I didn't feel all the way connected like I knew right. God of course but I didn't have a relationship with God and that's exactly what I'm trying to do with the young adults and the young teens of my community or even more expand more around the world and everything that's exactly what I'm trying to do because that's what God put in my heart to do so I just have mm -hmm. to take it in and work on what he wants me to do 
Exactly. His will. You got it on your shirt. It's his exactly. will. His will will be done. And you know what? That is so awesome that you kind of want to be a beacon of light for um, yes. your age group. You got, you know, you guys are our future leaders. You got, exactly. you, you all are going to rule the world soon. So, and it's, you know, it's so good that you found God now, because when you put God first, how many of us know that everything, everything else comes just after. falls right in mm -hmm. place, you know? So yes. it's such a blessing. Like I said, I can't say enough. Like you're young, you, you, you know, you want your, your light to shine and you started this organization. So we just want to learn a little bit about the organization. So you could just kind of walk us through the why you started the organization. Don't go into your pain yet, but you started the why you decided okay. to start this organization. Okay. So I started it because I see that a lot of us young people, people young kids or whatever have an issue with having to heal mm. and to really take god for what he is and as a provider as a healer as just being the mighty god that he is and my mm. journey his will really stands for that because i still have a journey that i'm on i'm only 16 mm. i know that i have a whole lot of stuff to go through still but that's the whole purpose of his will because for he knows the plan that he has for us to prosper us Come on and to now. Not harm us. So <laughs> that's right. exactly why my business has that Jeremiah 29 on the back of my shirt. Can't really turn around right now, but um, that's exactly yes, why can. I have Yes, you can. Go it. ahead and turn around okay. so we can see it. Show us, <laughs> I mean, show it off. I think you can. And this shirt was actually made by Shelly. And that's the Jeremiah, tw Jeremiah 29, 11, one of my favorite scriptures. Um, Awesome. I mean, Kelly, we love it. It's beautiful. And tell us about, you know, um, we know you started my journey, his will, but you're also on another journey as to making shirts. You're actually using your platform and your organization to, you know, make these shirts. And is there any way that we can purchase them? How do we purchase them? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Um, I have a Facebook, it's Shaley Ortiz. And then I have also the other Facebook for the business shirt, which is, um, my journey his will you can find that on facebook and you can also find it on instagram my journey his will and you could easily just private message me and i will help you out with a pre-order and you will get your shirt you can also change the color of the cross and the butterflies or if you are male you could ask for a blue cross or whatever color cross you want on the back also so which it's just up to you you guys just customize it however you want it to do oh my god you guys see that 16 years old. She's a, a t-shirt business owner. I'm going to speak that now. And that's going to really take off for you. So you might as well get ready. Yes. Um, and not only that, she actually is a CEO of My Journey, His Will. And Shelly, how many times um, can you say that, I mean, did you see this coming? Or was it just like, how did this happen? Okay, so a while back, like I'll say like two months ago, I'm not even going to say two months ago, two and a half, I'm, well, one and a half around there. I, someone close to me prophesied over my life that they saw me as a business owner or having a YouTube channel, which is why I have a YouTube channel called My Journey as Will. And I will soon be posting on that very, very soon for my millennial kids. And I'm just ready to just share everything, my testimony and everything to everybody so that they know mm. you can make it out. Yeah. But I she, I'm just so grateful. And before that, I never I would wanted to get into a ministry in my church or whatever, you know, with the young kids. But I never thought I would be a YouTube person <laughs> or a blog or whatever. So and then everything just happened so quickly and so perfect. And I'm like, God, how me? Me? Like that's just the God we serve. <laughs> and that's just how he works. <laughs> yes, he works you in know? mysterious ways. I would have never yeah. thought I can own a business. Like I've never seen myself as a CEO, but God. That's, but no, God. that's right. But <laughs> God. And that's another one of my favorite sayings. I love to say that. <laughs> but God. And you know, yes. it's just so awesome that, you know, when people sometimes walk up to us and they and they prophesy to us as babes and Christ, would you call yourself a babe in Christ? Oh, yes, of course. Are you just yes. not learning who God is? Right. Kind of, so we're kind yes. of looking at them like, okay, yeah, like, 
I hear you, but okay. Mm, you know, you kind of second guess it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right, right, right. And then look at God, you know? Yeah. Look at him now. So, you know, I know that we do have this journey that we have to take in life. I'm in my 40s and I know I still have a long way to go uh, if it's in God's will. Mm-hmm. And every day I learn different things, new things. You can learn from the young, you can learn from the old. It's just life itself is just a learning process. And during this time um, that you're going through all of the things to be able to start your business, have you faced any obstacles? Have anything you tried to show its head to try to kind of like um, deter you from what it is that God will have you to do? With my business? Yes. Um, yes, I started to think like um, I might not have the finances to basically make my shirts or whatever but then God literally provided me with what I needed to make the shirts myself so I didn't have to go online and have a vendor and anything Mm -hmm. like that like I just would get the money myself and then I'll just do the shirts by myself literally and I was like God I don't know how to be creative but (laughs) I had people around me that helped me and showed me how to do it so now look (laughs) I know, and you did very good, and you know, just starting out. Thank and you got to know yes. now, like, yeah, you're doing everything now, but God is going to grow that business, daughter, and that business is going to excel, and you're going to need the help. Yes, <laughs> you know, you're I not know. just going to be doing your YouTube channel. You're not just going to be doing um, your your organization, but you're actually going to be a business owner that you're going to be employing others. You understand? Yes. And I, you might as well just get ready because I'm telling you, anytime you put God first and you stand at his word and you show him off, good things come. Yes. You know, it's not boasting, Jesus, yes. it's not bragging. It's just showing people the God in you and what God can do. Now, I want to get a little bit, you know, deeper and I want to know what have you ever experienced any type of pain? A whole lot of me. <laughs> uh, ever since, like, I can say fifth grade, it started like fifth grade, and even right. earlier before that, I've um, okay, it's gonna get a little emotional, so let me just make sure my eyes don't are mess ready. up okay. my makeup, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> it took okay. me a long time to do my makeup, <laughs> okay? So let it flow. <laughs> Back in fifth grade was the first time that I had an incident of um basically trying to commit suicide in the middle of class. So literally I grabbed a pencil and was um scraping my wrist, but luckily there was no lead in the pencil. So but um I was sent to the office, my parents called um they called my parents. And mm-hmm. yeah. It was hard. Because I was kind of um, bullied, but it's like something in me never wanted to die. So um, then um, high school happened. (laughs) I always had um, short hair before all of this craziness came about, but. (laughs) um, (laughs) Looks beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank God. Mm. But um, high school. (laughs) It, it was hard the first year. Ninth grade year was already already just like so much, and dealing with the boys and stuff. It's like um, it's easy for us young girls to get caught up mm-hmm. with boys, and that's exactly what I want to show off too. Like you know, you have to love God first in order to love somebody else. Honestly, so. Yes. But I'm so glad that even though I had another episode of basically trying to commit suicide again um they try to give me a therapist they try to put me on pills but my mom didn't let them and that's when honestly i got introduced to a really good family um he's part of the um sore group Derek Hall junior and his family his aunts (laughs) his aunts Mm -hmm. and everybody just really poured into my life Jesus. Yeah. And that's when I got introduced to God, like, more. Because I always had, like, this um, love for God. Like, it was deep, but it was like I couldn't communicate. Like, I felt like I couldn't hear him. But I got to always cry in church. 
tears, tears, tears. <laughs> but God, it started in November and I finally, like, I was like, man, like I really want to know God and what he does for people and really learn the Bible. So mm. after November, it was like everything just started happening and I started to feel better and I started to know the whole serenity prayer, like have courage to let things go and just yeah, know change. that you can't change stuff. Exactly. So I'm just so grateful for that family and I'll continue mm-hmm. to have them in my journey, you know? So, yes. um, yeah, I just always dealt with depression and suicidal thoughts, but I've never, Jesus. God never let the enemy take me away. Cause he knew no, cause you have exactly purpose. now. Exactly. You have purpose, baby. And he knew that he, you were something special. So he had to try you then to put your to now. testimony. Exactly. He had to bring it out. And the thing is, you said you have to love God before you love people. You have to love God first, then yourself, That's and the then step. people. You know, we cannot, as broken people, try to go and love anybody yep. because we'll only damage others in our bo- brokenness. And through all of this, through the suicide, oh God, thank you, Jesus. I thank God for allowing you to be here with us today because you're going to shine a lot of light, not just for the young, but for the old too. Because at a time like now that we're dealing with the pandemic and so much that we're dealing with, you know, is so many mental issues that's going on right now. And to be able, you, you have to be able to be connected to God oh, in sorry. order to, it's okay, baby. It's all, you, you have to be connected to God to make it in these times, you know? And I think it's just a little shaking that God is doing with us all right now, because how many of us went to God before? And like really did some serious prayer or even reading our word. Right now we have nothing but time, but you time. know, mm-hmm. but exactly. So now is the time to actually get to know God. And I heard you say piggybacking off of what you said earlier about you want to start some type of ministry, uh, ministry in church. Your ministry is going to be on YouTube, not that you can't do it in church. Your ministry is going to be through YouTube because you're going to reach so many in the nation. And mm-hmm. what's going to happen during right that, that time? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't tell you nothing that God don't give me. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not what you're going to get from me, you know. But your ministry, you're going to have to take out the four walls. And that's what God is doing now. My yeah, God, church is God. awesome. The building, church actually is in your heart, you know. That's but what I had we to have learn to go in this out- pandemic. <laughs> exactly. And that's why we have to go outside of the four walls to be able to reach the people. Because you have so many Christians that's, um, how Need can I say, place, that's traditional, you know, you have so many traditional folk and you can't do this. You can't wear this. You can't say that. Uh, if you walk up in the church and say, for instance, you know, you were in the church, right? And I'm just coming in church and I come in, I may have left a club. I may come in with my little short skirt on, but they won't worry about me the reason why I'm there to be, in, you know, I made it there because I know that I needed God to help me with some things, not even knowing what I'm going through, but they will judge me by what I have on. And study so said, bless you, my sister, for even being here. Yes. Now, what happens if you have that baby in Christ and you shine that baby in Christ? Now you don't lost one of God's children and that blood is on your hand. So that's why we have to be also careful how we treat folk. You know, you have to be very, very careful very how you careful. judge and treat people because we don't know what somebody is going through. I'm sure that a lot of your your um, classmates didn't even have an idea of what it is that you were going through. You said fifth grade bullying. Bullying is something that I despise. You know, and right. so many people deal with it. Even in a, a older age, a lot of bullying goes on. But yeah. you know, you yeah, exactly, and you know, God made it where you say you had no lead in that pencil to be able to take you out. The you know, pencil what I'm was broken exactly. So, yeah, <laughs> right. It's crazy. Exactly. Yeah. Looking and back on I'm it, that's why you, I was like, in fifth oh my grade, God, I'm emotional. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's okay. It's your testimony. It's going to, I mean, it, look, my journey, his, his will. will. And his will is for you to be here and to be able to share yes. what it is that you went through to help somebody else. You yes. know? So we heard about your pain. We heard about your journey. We heard about your pain. Now we want to know what, do you know your purpose in life? I believe it's to help others because I'm a very helpful person. And then I've always felt the need to help people, but now I know how to help people because I used to help people with my own love and stuff. But now it's like God loves flow through me so much that it's like, Mm. it's like I have to, the Holy Spirit just wants to throw it up all the way. Like I help all of my friends, like you guys need a scripture. I got you like I every day or every other day, you know, and, I just feel like my purpose is really to help the millennials now. Honestly, truly. Yeah. Honestly. Yes. <laughs> like and, that know, is definitely my purpose. Oh wow, that is so awesome. I mean, you know that sometimes and I'm just going to throw this out there. I'm going to try to test you a little bit because what happens, right? If you're trying to help someone and they rebuke you, how would you handle that? Wow, that's a really good question. Honestly, uh-huh. I would honestly I've learned now, probably just last night too, that you just have to you shared the word of God already. You said, "Okay, that's this right. is how you're supposed to react." You shared what you had to share. If they don't accept mm-hmm. it, then the blood is off of your hands. It's in their hands Correct. now. They have whatever they have to do now is with God. It's not with me. Mm-hmm. I gave you exactly mm-hmm. what God told me to give you. And that's that. That's, that's right. how I feel. I'm not going to hate you or anything like that. No, I'm going to just be like, okay, I gave you what I had to give you. And now and you handle it how you want to handle it. Because, right, you're just a messenger, <laughs> basically. You know? <laughs> exactly. So, the blood is not on my hand no more. Because if I let exactly. you rebuke me and I get mad, then the blood is on my hand. So. Now, what happens if God tell you to go back to the same person again? I'm be like, I'm gonna be like, God, but you knew, you knew what they did. But okay, I'm gonna try again. Okay, uh-huh. I'm gonna try again. But yes, I will try again because I learned that you have to obey God. Like, mm. if you don't, I feel like you're taking on your own will and your own control, and that's not what my whole thing is about, anyway. So I can't be like a hypocrite you know what I mean I I don't want to I don't want to do that I want to be what God has called me to be his beacon of light so Mm -hmm. that's that but just know that we all fall short you know and uh when you fall you just get back up you know don't stay down and repent you know if you exactly and if you see one of your your millenniums as you call them or even if you see anyone down don't look down just to you know look down on them help them up, give them a helping hand, you know, because so many times, you know, when we see our brothers and our sisters down, we tend not to uh, help in any kind of way, you know, I mean, it's sometimes um, things are not just about, um, I'm going to put it out there, money, you know, maybe I need an ear, maybe I need your shoulder, you know what I'm saying, maybe I just need a simple hello, you know, right. and sometimes if we're going through in our own lives, we don't sit and, you know, we're kind of like saying, okay, well, I'm going through. So how I'm going to help somebody else to get through if I'm going through? That's the time to help. Exactly. Because you'll get re- what you do in private, you get rewarded publicly. So there you go. You speak in the word of God, daughter. You better go. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I mean, audience, do you have any questions for our girl, Shelly? Because she is on fire today. You know, thank you all for tuning in with us and looking forward to hearing from you. Any questions, because comments or words of encouragement to um, Shelly, because I'm sure that she can use it right now. Not only that, please do, sir, ma'am, go to her page and support her business. She's a young, vibrant, like I said, I can't say it enough, woman of God. I'm, I'm a young woman of God. And yes. I'm sure that when she make these shirts, she make these shirts in love. And I'm sure when you purchase these shirts and you put on these shirts, you're going to feel the love of God. 
because it's coming from someone that God is using mightily. Yes. So guys, please do solicit her and go ahead and support her. And Shelly, I mean, when your YouTube come up, make sure that we know so we can put yes. it out there. I believe in supporting others. And, you know, it's just such a blessing just to lay eyes on you and see what you're doing, hearing your testimony. And I got to say, I got to like kind of big up my family here because Derek Hall is my cousin, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and his aunts and um, mom, mother, they're my cousins. And one thing I can say is we, at a young age, we didn't know God, but God. But you know, God. it's not that we didn't know him. It's like we didn't take the time to, to kind under, of like let to get him, a relationship. Right. You know, we kept running, running. Run. And I can say for myself, it took me in my 20s. And God says, daughter, no more. <laughs> no more running. Now is the time. And do, little do we know, one and come before destruction. And then it's like all the, all the times when the things that we were going through, you know, we didn't understand it at the time, but God was using those things. As a testimony. Not saying that God do anything bad to us. That's not what I'm saying. But during those times, that was building us for our purpose. It had and to happen. Testimony. <laughs> it had to happen. Exactly. And that's why um, when God gave me the vision of it had to happen, I was like, okay. And the reason why I use the word two, I mean, the number two is because I have two young kings that God blessed me with. He allowed me to be a mother to his two children. He loaned yeah. them to me, you know? And so that's where the two come at and um, it had to happen. But the vision is just, I mean, to, just to know that all of my it's that I went through, it birthed me for my now, my purpose, you know? Amen. And here Hallelujah. I stand with 88 Blessings and SOAR. We had the Single Moms Organization, but you're going to also get involved with SOAR too because you're going to pour into our young people, you know? I cannot and wait. <laughs> I know, I know I spoke with you about it before and we're just looking forward to see how can we fit, you know, how could you be a blessing to our kids and how you guys are going to use each other. And I, I, I was speaking with my cousin, Katima, and she was telling me that you were asking about Jalen Eumas, oh, which yes. was another 17-year-old. I mean, oh, God, that, I mean, it was just in my spirit right now. I was thinking about her name. I'm like, what's her name? What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> Look at God. You see how God works? Yes. <laughs> you thank know? you, Lord. And I would love to have the both of you just to sit and meet and talk and just pour into you. I'm tearing yes. up. Yes. Oh, speak. Lord. Ah. <laughs> Ah, God, but I can Lord. only, oh, Jesus, mm, mm, mm. I can only Thank see. <laughs> Y'all too? Oh, my God. I mm. mean, oh, Jesus, God is going to use you, daughter, in a mighty way. You haven't Thank seen God. nothing, nothing yet. But I want to encourage you because as you do good, and how many know? As you do good, evil is always present. But your good is going to outweigh your bad. We all face difficult situations. We all face some trials and some tribulations. But just know now that you got the best person on your side. You got God. You got Christ. You know, he's going to yes, allow hallelujah. us to go through some things. He's going to take us through some things. To be stronger. And may even allow the you know, enemy shake us a little bit. But he want to know. Oh, Jesus. Mm. God is saying, can I trust you? Oh, Jesus. Can mm -hmm. I trust you? He has something so great for you. But he want to know, can he trust you? Yes, God. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Ooh, I can. God. Yes, hallelujah. Can. <laughs> he want to know, can he trust you? Give it to you, daughter. You make sure you do right with it. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ah, God, thank you. Jesus. Thank you, God. Can I trust you? Can I trust you? Yes, Lord. It's already laid up for you. All you got to do is walk into it. And don't get distracted in this season, baby. Mm -hmm. God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I don't got no tissues. <laughs> ah, thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We not oh thank you. I just want to thank my cousin Katima for the connection. For even, I mean, I know I've met you a couple of times. And oh Jesus, thank you. But you know, when I'm at the games, <laughs> I don't talk. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm too then. Oh gosh, I need tissue. Me like, too. <laughs> um mm. told you guys bring your tissue and I forgot myself. So <sighs> and you don't know why God placed people in your path. But when he give you those good people, you hold on to them. Yes. You hold on to them, daughter. Because God is using them to help you to get to your next. But ask God for the spirit of discernment. I'm, I'm hearing that in my spirit. Ask God for the spirit of discernment. Because you need to know you can't be accessible to everybody. Mm, confirmation right there, Lord. <laughs> mm, Jesus. Mm-mm. So you need to ask God for the spirit right of discernment. Y'all, <laughs> I never done this on the show before. I never. Um, <laughs> tears, tears, my makeup tears. probably is like all over the place. I don't have my tissue box. Um, you making my tissue box. I exactly. also have another young lady, Lakeisha Smith, that's making me one. It's needed now. <laughs> and you told everybody to bring tissue and you didn't even bring your own. I'm over here you like, know? <laughs> I know, right? But God. So oh just God. go ahead and mm. just, I mean, we want to, I mean, we heard your, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> thank you, Lord. <laughs> All I can just is say, Lord, I thank you. You got me stuck right there. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you, God. Lord. Oh, this, <laughs> ah, God, thank you. <laughs> That's just a, ah, God, thank you. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord. Ah God, thank you. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Shelly. All I can do is thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to thank you that again. You yes, uh, yes, I do. Uh I just want to thank you again for allowing thank me you, to Jesus. be on here and to share my thank story. You, and I hope to connect with um why well, I forgot her name again. Uh Jayla. Yes, okay. Okay. Yes, I can't wait to connect with her because I feel like we can make a difference between just everybody. Like, Mm -hmm. I really feel as if we can change the way people look at God because we have to be able to go through Christ Mm -hmm. to have a relationship with God. That's exactly what I had to learn Mm -hmm. myself because, you know, Mm -hmm. I always knew God was just God you know like I just Mm -hmm. I knew I knew I always had this whole fire in me that I knew but Jesus is who had to come in and save me and to give me the idea of showing other people that through him is who is how we get to God that's exactly how we get the relationship because we need relationship to be able to hear him we need mm-hmm. relationship because if not yes, we'll just do. be blocking out what he's mm-hmm. saying and mm-hmm. i just want to say that sometimes god takes us away from certain things or certain people yeah. Yeah. because those people are not allowed to be in the circle no more or they it's have not to that they're bad people distance. yeah exactly right it's not that they're bad so people. that they see okay she's doing the right thing maybe i should try to draw mm-hmm. back into her circle but then you know mm-hmm. God will have me so covered that regardless of any hate or anything, Jeez. I'm gonna be good. That's it. That's it. Some good and stuff. I just can't wait to bless other mm. people and my future, just everybody. I feel like generational, like it's just gonna be mm. blessings. Like I got saved from a generational curse, Lord God. And oh, glory. now yeah. <laughs> my God. family, I, I can't wait to absolutely bless my family with what god has planned for us and i can't wait can to I help trust others you? yes yes lord yes he can so I go school, back to lord. can i trust you can i trust you jesus yes <laughs> come on god, god. 
<laughs> yes, God. Can I trust you? you? Oh, thank you. Yes, God. Yes, he can. I was oh, so glory, nervous to glory, get on glory, here, glory, but now glory. I'm just, eh, I just feel so <laughs> filled up. Let I, it flow. Good God. Oh, my Lord Jesus. Yes, I can. yes, yes. That's just, he's amazing. <laughs> it's he like I have nothing amazing. else to say but God. God, <laughs> like, you so good. I can't. I can't. Yes. I, can't, I, can't. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just, I can't we wait do have for a everybody. Question. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go no, you go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> we do have a question from the audience. And matter of fact, it's from Katima. Katima would like to know what is your future plan? Um to have a youth group or for instance, Bible study group, because I feel like the Bible is really the it's really the book of life, honestly. I want to help others really use the Bible and and to apply it to your life Mm -hmm. because I had to learn that I had to learn like God will never leave me or forsake me like and I had to learn also Ooh, I feel it um Mm, come on God that we don't fight (laughs) against flesh and blood baby it's about Mm -hmm. spiritual spiritual warfare it's Mm -hmm. not flesh and blood that's what I think somebody had to hear that tonight um so if you're fighting with your family or something i promise you lord it ain't about (laughs) them it ain't about them and i had to experience that myself between my family Mm -hmm. it's not about them it's not the person it's not it's not the person it's the spirit they could have something else on them that's fighting you fighting me me. you speaking to me you speaking it to, had me. to fight me and and i had Jesus. to learn no it's not it's not them it's the spirit that's mm-hmm. fighting me and i have to just mm-hmm. be like god help me be able to win against that spirit so that my family doesn't Amen. have to deal mm-hmm. with that spirit no more because the spirit gets angry and angry and angry as long as i'm helping the person and it would like to isolate you it exactly from my family you. exactly yes because the devil knows that if somebody in the family has god ooh, <laughs> baby the whole family gonna be saved <laughs> you plant a seed of everybody it. so guess who he has to use he has to use the people that's closest to you you know and if you're not in christ you won't understand that you exactly. understand what i'm saying people might you look at you under- crazy yeah like you're the crazy one you know, you, you can't be going to that. I mean, no, everybody can't be wrong about you, you know. But at the end of the day, we all know that when you're getting closer and closer to Christ and moving up to another level, the attacks are there. And they are. Mm, I'm a witness to that. You get, exactly. And when you cannot attack through the outside people, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to come on and I'm going to try to use the people that's closest to you because that could kind of break you if that, you know, at the end of the day, you want to go into this little shell and you want to shut down. Nobody don't want to be close me. to your family. Nobody. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It kind of like have you like this, you know, it's it a, takes you, you want to be um, here. A close division. Right. Exactly. There you go, baby. It's division. And what happens when so many things happen, one after another, you, just you know, you're like, okay, like the Bible says, turn your cheek. Like, I only have two. <laughs> Come How on. many times am I to do that? You know, can you not just get that we'll do better getting along? You know, it's not that I think I'm better than anybody, but I know the God that I serve and mm-hmm. I know the things that He do for me. You he could do it for you, exactly. And he could do it for you, you and you. But at the end of the day, when these things happen, when you're being used by God, first of all, people like to hold you accountable for your past. And to be real with you, a lot of people don't even know the truth about your past. Don't even know the and things assume, that you yes. went through. Ha! A lot of my things that I had to go through, none of my family knew about it. Not even the people who were standing in the house with me didn't know about it. I didn't have to walk around looking like what I was going through. Because guess what? They couldn't help me. Mm-hmm. I had to but go God. to God. Hallelujah, yes. Mm-hmm. And Come let on. him help me. You understand? Oh, and yes. a lot of times, it, it, it saddens me because when the enemy come and attack our family, it's going to take just like they say it take a village to raise these kids 
It's going to take a village to go against this enemy. You know? And yes. at the end of the day, God says, well, there's two or three gathered in my name. Hallelujah. I am there. Hallelujah. Yes. If two or three of my family members are listening in. Connect, connect, connect. Because we are in times now of one, need each other. I mean, really, really need each other at this time. Yes. You know, and I want to, uh, Katima is asking, uh, Shelly, tell your audience about the young lady, Tori, and how you brought her closer to God. Oh, yes. Okay. So, um, Shatoria, she's, um, I met her through uh, Derek and um, I slowly, as I was getting closer to God, I would continuously share what I was using as a coping mechanism because I noticed that only God and, and how he helped others is how he helped me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let me share the scriptures that I used or, mm -hmm. or the songs that I would mm -hmm. like just, you know, worship to and everything. And it's like, I started to help her and she told me one day and she was like, I just thank you for bringing me closer to God because I always knew God, but it wasn't like I, like I would, you know, hunger for him. Jesus. And it just felt like I was, I was literally fitting her spirit so that her, like the Holy Spirit could just bring it out in her when she was going through mm -hmm. hard times because I yes. knew what she was going through because I went through it. That's exactly mm -hmm. why the whole testimony thing is a real, real deal right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I've helped others uh -huh. too, but Tori was literally my first heartfelt per like that. I really felt like, Oh my God, like I could do that. Me like God used me to help somebody yes. else. Yes. Why not you? <laughs> you know, why not you? But God, and used... that's a thing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Right. God no, uses a donkey and everything to speak. So why not me? Exactly. And you know what? During the times I was going through my hard times, my trials, my tribulations, I never asked God, why me? You know, why not me? If he hung on that cross for us and bared our sins, why not me? He that was no <laughs> sin took up everything. That's like, you just have to everything. be so thankful. Thankful. Yes. Yes, and even in the is. hard times. Yes, yeah. especially that's the, in the time hard when you times. should be more grateful. That's the one time you should be keep. You know, you should be praising. Mm -hmm. You know, praise you your delivered. way through that thing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you got to praise <laughs> your way through. You can't sit and be like, "Oh, I'm just going through. Uh, this is happening to me." It happens to the best of us. Some that we know about, some that we have no clue about. Exactly. That's why you got to be so careful how you treat people. You know, and we're mm -hmm. going back to I don't know why God taking me back here, but yes, I do because it need to be it need to be told. Family, you know, you have things that the enemy likes to show his head in the people that he thought or think that he can use to kind of break you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I've been dealing with some of the situations here and there, but God thought, I mean, the enemy thought that that thing was going to break me. And I like to say I've been, but I'm not going to break because I know who I am and who I belong to. Hallelujah. And I know that, I mean, the, I know that God is only going to allow whatever it is that he wants to allow. And he know how much that I can be. All things work together for good for those that love Come God. On. So, hallelujah. Come on now. Everything going to work out. Okay. <laughs> Come on now. You know, and that is the truth. And like I said, again, don't allow anyone to hold you to your past. Mm, we could do Thank nothing God. to change yesterday. We could do nothing to change the, the, the hour. I mean, you know, what time is it now? 5.15? Nothing to change 4.15. Time mm. waits on nobody. Be mm. very, very mindful who you give your time to. Because yes. it's something that you can never get. You can't get back. Yes. You understand? So, again, in life, people are like to try to throw the jab on who you used to be or who they thought used to be because they really don't know and anytime the attack comes just know that it has nothing to do well it, they, uh, they see the anointing on your life that's first of all 
But when a person attacks, just know it's it says nothing about when it when negativity come. I'm gonna put it like that. When a negative thought, like the negativity come towards you, it has nothing to do with you. It says everything about that person. But what I like to say is, do not look at the person, but look at who the person is being used by. We don't fight because against a flesh and don't, blood. Come on, <laughs> exactly. Because if a person don't know God. They're going to allow the enemy to you, And they don't even know at that. That's one thing. Exactly. Too. And I like to tell people, you can't have, you can have everything else, but you can't mm. have my oil. Mm. I paid a dear price for that oil. Mm. And I dare Come not on. to let anybody take me back there because God has bought me from a mighty, mighty long way, Shelly. And no, I, understand. I can say <laughs> uh, that spirit of depression it would never rise up against you. Come on. Another day. Come on. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. I ooh. Child. It would never rise up against you another mm. day. Thank you, God. Glory Thank to God. You God. Ooh, Lord. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory oh, to Lord God. Lord Jesus. Wow, he is Come so on, good. y'all. He is good. Y'all say something to the beautiful Shelly. Ask her a question. Give her words of encouragement. What you guys would like to say to Shelly? Because I'm telling you, this is a young woman that is being used by God. And I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. I know we have Princess Dior. Oh, I love that name, Princess. Um, she's asking you, Shelly, do, do you remember the first time you heard God speak to you. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So I remember being really like, like kind of, I wouldn't say hurt, but I was always like, oh my God, like I want to hear God speak to me. Like he be speaking to everybody. And I'm like, oh my God, why not me? <laughs> right. So I'm sorry. One sec. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. It's, okay. it's my dog. I'm sorry. He gets all <laughs> rowdy. But, um, and I remember just, you know, always trying to figure out, like, I would watch videos, like, how to hear God. But I learned that you have to be able to just, like, focus on him mm -hmm. and to know, like, just um, close your ears to everything else, but open to him. Yes. Right. So I was on a prayer call six o'clock in the morning with Princess Dior <laughs> and Deaconess ah. Portia. Yes, I was on there at six o'clock in the morning. And... <laughs> couple of like i think like an hour later um i literally literally kind of like felt um um i'm on a in interview thing you can take him outside okay um and i literally felt just this like i can honestly say probably like the holy spirit like um the holy ghost maybe i was trying to fall asleep but i was dozing off and then boom i heard god and it was like you are going to be my light. And it was just like, it, it felt like it was a dream, but it was really just mm. him speaking to me. And and I just knew like, wow, God, like me, like I was just like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> because I got the word from somebody else. Like I'm in this group thing and, and the guy told me, you know, God is trying to tell you that you will be his light in this dark world and all of that stuff. And then, you know, mm. part of me was like, you know when you hear a word from somebody exactly like prophesying almost to you're right, like right. Oh, you're like okay but like why me or whatever something like that and then boom it was like I got it the revelation yeah. to myself and, and I, I was like God like I woke up and I was like oh I gotta tell somebody because I, I need to know because even when I forgot his name but it's in the bible and, and he was like were you calling me like he was telling I think it was Elijah he was telling um somebody I forgot his name he was telling him and he was like were you calling me like i hear somebody calling me but i know it, it, is it you and that's exactly how i felt i had to get a witness wow so i just <laughs> I, I got it and i just you knew see? after that <laughs> and I you know so sometimes thankful. you know god ain't gonna come screaming at you you know <laughs> but you just gotta know when you're in uh tune with god you'll know when you hear from him and my beautiful sister-in-law she's on here she said you are a truly uh you are a true blessing the lord has great things in store for you she said just wait and see uniquely unique that's my sister-in-law from georgia and she, she just spoke wow. that word for you erica lee says keep up the great work 
Burke. Uh, Dia Portia says, we are proud of you. I mean, the comments are just pouring in. I mean, Shelly, I need you to keep on keeping on. <laughs> Because God yes. has some great things. I can't wait to pour into you. your kids. I can't wait. Ah. That's my whole thing. That? Okay. I, <laughs> and because I, I know hope we have a couple of our but... kids on that's listening. Yes, you I, know, um, we I'm actually have a Zoom call on the twenty first. I'm going to speak to my PR team, and we're going to get you on that call to kind of give them some words of encouragement as they go off to Thank soar oh, to Lord. the next level of their lives. And that was another thing, like through everything that I had went through, um, God had given me, he entrusted me with his business. You know, just like you say, his will and God is the CEO of your organization. I don't even God like saying me- my business, okay? Uh, <laughs> ooh, exactly. I say our or his, <laughs> like, I, That's it. If you speak to any of my team leaders, they'll tell you, I always use the word, hour (laughs) yes and the thing is you know when he gave me that vision you know it was always in me i had a group like when actually when i have nothing like i was really going through myself and i had a group called virtuous young ladies it's actually on the back of my shirt right now but i can't get up to kind of show you (laughs) but um it's called it was called byl virtuous young ladies and I had about maybe about seven or eight young ladies in this group. We will fellowship together. We will go places together. And one of the things that was mandatory is for all of us to go to church together and felt, wow. you know, and worship wow. together. And I didn't even know at the time that I was going to be doing this later on in a way that I can give not just word, but I can give, mon- you know, and monetarily. So when he gave me the vision of 88 Blessings, You know, I like to tell people like, okay, the foundation was laid, right? Mm, So when that foundation, hallelujah, (laughs) and when that foundation was laid, when my son went to the NFL, he went undrafted. But guess what? God says you was delayed, but you wasn't denied. The first so will be, no, the last will be first. He said that. He said, I'll make the first, last, and the Hallelujah. last first. That's what he spoke to me in my ears mm. when my son did not get jacked. Oh, hallelujah. Come and I'm on, telling Lord. you, I was crying. Like, I'm talking about the tears were just going. His t- he was crying. I was crying. And I'm just like, okay. But when I heard that, I'll make the last, I'll make the first, last, and the last first. And I'm just going to share this with you, Shelly, because it's going to help you. Ellen went in. He had to leave on Mother's Day. Okay? Now, I'm used to being with my babies all the time. You know? <laughs> so he had to leave on the very next day. And it was on Mother's Day. And now I'm fighting. Okay, he didn't get drafted. He leaving on Mother's Day. You know, um, but at least he's not going too far. So he came here to Jacksonville. And Jacksonville had drafted. Uh, two wide receivers that year who I love, Marquise Lee and Allen Robinson. And um, never do I like to see any of the players get hurt. But they went down. So Allen got extra reps and had to do extra work. Do you know Allen's very first game? He scored two touchdowns before the first quarter was over. This God was showing up in Allen on that field. Mm, and hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah everybody knew that that was god you know they may have passed him up but god never left him or forsook him you know he made sure that he was going to show alan just what i said i'm going to do because guess what his word should never turn to him void he is a god that shall not lie and will not lie he is not alan, man so he I mean, can't god showed up <laughs> Alan showed up and I mean God showed up in Allen and showed out. Mm. And in Jacksonville, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> I'm telling you, God allowed us to use his platform, which is 88 blessings, and, and what it is that Alan is doing on the field. He allowed us to use Alan platform to be able to pour in so many. So mm. when I started the organization and he gave me the business, I mean, gave me the vision, it was for single moms. Mm. How could I not 
help another single mom if it wasn't me. I walked the walk so I can talk the talk, mm. you know? And then years later, he gave me um, sore. And little do we know that now with the kids faced with everything that they're faced with and not being able to graduate, you know, walk across the stage, something you work so hard for, you know? And you want to walk across that stage. You want to go to your senior prom. You want to do all your senior activities. And, and they have been stripped from it. But some good is going to come out of that. These kids made history. Since when you have a drive-up parade? Now, <laughs> since when, you know, they have been drive-up uh, graduations and all of that now. Since exactly. When, you know, and, and, and that's not just it. It's going to be more. So when God gave me soar, here it is. We didn't decide to just bless these kids just this one time. We want to soar through college with them. Mm. You know? And then look, when That's he gave me too. soar, but watch this though. Look how he worked. When he gave me soar, what do you see behind me? An eagle. Two eagles. Mm. Mm. <laughs> he mm. lined that thing up just the way he wanted to have it. Mm. You know? Hallelujah. And I just want to say, I mean, this we have to do a part two because I'm telling you this is good, you know. And I want to thank my audience for coming in. You guys have been a true, true blessing to Shelly, saying all these great things, pouring into her. And I just want to thank you all for tuning in on today. If you would like to book me or to purchase my book, please do go to my website at Erica Wilson ih two h dot com. Let me back it up. www Erica Wilson ih 2h.com if you would like for any bookings any updates or to purchase my book also please do please sir please ma'am go to um my social media sites and do follow it won't hurt you just to click that like button i would like to also hear from you guys let me know how we did today uh in the comments i would love to get your feedback that means a lot as well i do have my youtube channel it had to happen with Erica Wilson. And audience, please do go ahead and go to Shelly's page. Shelly, could you tell us your pages again? Um, on Facebook, uh, Shaley Ortiz, S-H-E-I-O-Y, O-R-T-I-Z. And also on my Instagram, My Journey His Will. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, My Journey His Will. It should show up. If not, uh, you can inbox me on Facebook or Instagram and I will send you the link to it. But I will soon be posting my video. So show your kids so we could get them in a relationship with God. Hallelujah. We can get them saved. Glory to God. Y'all heard her. Go ahead and subscribe to her page. Not just, I mean, is it up yet, Shelly? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's just sometimes, yes, you know, do. YouTube don't be popping up stuff, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's in God's timing exactly in god's timing everything's gonna work in god's timing but again thank you audience so much you guys have been so faithful tuning in with me every wednesday at 4 30 coming this wednesday or well next wednesday i'll be um in miami doing a live interview but again thank you so much for tuning in and i, I think her name was princess dior god bless you evangelist god bless you Ladies. Oh, wait. I want to say one uh, more thing, if I can. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, I need you guys to stay tuned for August. Um, me and Princess Dior will be doing live on Facebook for the young adults. So bring your kids. You can also join, of course, and bring your kids and bring a notebook or whatever, because we're going to be talking about things of that are happening in the world with kids and, like, Mm -hmm. depression and suicidal thoughts and everything so i can't wait to pour into you guys so be tuned for me and princess dior so thank Woo you all right princess dior <laughs> shout out to you i can't wait make sure you shoot me that date shelly i'll be looking forward to tuning in with you guys and supporting yes. you guys all always and i can't wait for part two part two i know we're gonna bring it home <laughs> Glory to God. Again, thank you all for tuning in. I love you. Be blessed. Thank you again. Bye. And I would like to share my jacket with you all. Yeah. <laughs> again, thank you so much. <laughs> I love my show and I love this book that I wrote. Um, it's not a long read. It's a short read, but it truly, truly blessed you. And here we have it. It 
had to happen. Again, you can go to my website to purchase this book. You have the uh, soft cover and you have the hot cover. Well, paperback and you have the hot cover. www.ericawilsonih2h.com. Thanks again. Have one blessed and beautiful remainder of your day.